Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to design the staircase, uh, particularly waist slab staircase. So the data is the type of staircase is waist slab type, number of steps in flight is equal to 12, uh, thread T is equal to 300 mm, then riser dimension R is equal to 160 mm, uh, then width of landing beams is equal to 400 mm, then material used for the staircase is uh, M20 grade concrete and uh, FE415 HYSD was. So first we have to find out the effective span. So effective span L is equal to 12 into 300. So 12 is a uh, flight, so the number of steps in flight and uh, 300 mm is equal to th thread dimension. So 300 mm thread dimension, uh, 12 into 300 plus, uh, so the landing beams uh, dimension is equal to 400 mm so total 400 mm so we can solve this uh, we can get 4000 mm so the total effective span is equal to 4000 mm uh, then uh, after that we find out the thickness of weight slab so thickness of weight slab we find out uh, using is 456 uh, uh, for simply supported beam span by depth ratio is equal to 20 so uh, thickness equal to span by 20 so the span length is equal to 4000 mm so divided by 20 so total is equal to total thickness is equal to 200 mm so next we find out the loads uh, loads of dead load and live load so dead load of slab uh, on slope uh, so staircase in uh, inclined portion so on slope w is equal to 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is equal to uh, uh, thickness of slab into 1 so 1 meter length into 25 is equal to uh, unit weight of concrete so total uh, we can get 5 kilo newton per meter so this is uh, for inclined portion so we have to uh, find out for horizontal portion so for horizontal we can convert the inclined portion into horizontal so we can use the formula so w is equal to w s into root of uh, w s equal to weight of slope uh, r square plus d t square divided by t so w s equal to we fi uh, find out the 5 uh, root of uh, r is equal to 160 square plus t is equal to uh, 300 square divided by 300 so we can get 5.66 kilo newton per meter so this is a uh, horizontal span dead load on horizontal span so next uh, we have to find out uh, dead load of one step so one step is equal to uh, 0 0.5 into 0 0.16 into 0 0.13 so uh, half into b into h so uh, half is equal to 0 0.5 into b is equal to uh, 0 0.16 into height equal to 0 0.3 uh, into 25 so into 25 is equal to unit weight of concrete so total we get 0 0.6 kN per meter so again we go find out load by span uh, per meter length is equal to uh, 0.6 into 1000 divided by 300 so uh, 1000 is equal to 1 meter of length divided by uh, 300 is a thread value so total 2, uh, 2 kN per meter so next finishes uh, finishes load we can take in as 0 0.6 kN per meter so we can uh, find out the total dead load so total dead load 5.66 uh, load on horizontal span uh, then 2 so 2 value is equal to dead load on uh, steps then 0 0.6 is finishes load so total dead load is equal to 8.26 kN per meter so again we find out the live load so live load is equal to for overcrowding uh, we can take in as uh, 5 kN per meter uh, then uh, total service load is equal to 13.26 kN per meter so 8.26 plus uh, 5 is equal to uh, 13.26 so after that we can find out the ultimate load so ultimate load is equal to 1.5 factor of safety into uh, 13.26 so finally we got the total load is equal to 19.89 kN per meter so next we go uh, go for bending moment so bending moment we can find out uh, wl square by 8 so simply supported beam uh, we can find the uh, maximum bending moment equal to wl square by 8 so 0 0.125 uh, this is solved by 1 by 8 is equal to 0 0.125 uh, into wu into l square so wu is equal to ultimate load so ultimate load if we found out 19.86 uh, so 1 0.125 into 19.89 into uh, this uh, length is equal to 4 meter so 4 square so total we got uh, the moment is equal to 39.78 kilo newton meter so next we go for uh, check for depth so we can check the depth uh, is it uh, enough or not so d is equal to root of mu divided by 1 0.138 fck b so this is the formula so mu we know uh, 13.78 
39.78 into 10 power 6 uh, this is kilo newton meter so we can convert into newton into mm so divided by 0 0.138 into fck is equal to 20 we know uh, then uh, b is equal to 1000 so 10 power 3 so we can get 120 mm assuming clear cover equal to 20 mm and using 12 mm diabos so now effective depth is equal to 200 the total overall length uh, overall length minus uh, 20 uh, my 20 is a cover minus 6 is a diameter uh, diameter of the rod so total we get 174 mm so the minimum uh, depth required is 120 but we provide 174 mm so hence uh, this de uh, design is safe so next we go for uh, design the reinforcement so reinforcement are uh, using the formula mu is equal to 0 0.87 fy ast into d into 1 minus ast fy divided by uh, bd into fck so we know fck fy is equal to 415 uh, because we are using uh, 415 hysd bus uh, then fc is equal to 20 and mu is equal to 0 39.78 into 10 power 6 newton meter so then uh, d is equal to 174 and b is equal to 1000 mm so we can substitute the, uh, all the values over here uh, area of reinforcement so otherwise uh, we can use the table uh, table 6 in sp16 uh, we can uh, using the formula mu divided by bd square so mu is equal to 39.78 into 10 power 6 divided by b is equal to 10 power 3 into d is equal to 174 square so total we get 1.31 so pt is equal to 0 0.40 is equal to 100 into ast divided by uh, b into d so ast is equal to 0 0.40 into 10 power 3 uh, into 174 so b is equal to 10 power 3 into d is equal to 174 divided by 100 so this is a 100 value so divide, uh, the 100 is uh, come under division so we can get the 696 mm square so both the way we can find out the ast so using this formula we can uh, find out the ast or uh, we can use this formula for find out the ast so provide 12 mm dia bus in 160 mm center to center uh, and ast is equal to uh, we can get uh, 707 mm square so uh, ast required is equal to uh, 696 mm square we provide 7 uh, 707 mm square in main reinforcement distribution reinforcement is equal to uh, 0 0.12 percentage uh, so 0 0.012 into 10 power 3 is equal to uh, b and the depth is equal to 200 so we can get uh, 240 mm square so we can provide 8 mm diameter uh, for bars at 200 mm center to center uh, now the AST is uh, distribution reinforcement is 251 so uh, the minimum required is equal to 240 we can provide 251 mm square this is a structural diagram of a uh, staircase uh, so waste type uh, staircase main reinforcement is equal to 12 mm dia bus at 160 center to center and distribution dia bus 8 mm uh, bus at 200 mm center to center uh, and also the thread value is equal to 300 mm and rise value is equal to 160 mm step bus equal to 6 uh, 6 mm dia bus at 150 mm center to center uh, then uh, nosing uh, nosing bar also we can provide so and also this is the 400 mm of uh, base slab uh, then uh, total dimension total length is equal to 4000 mm so this is landing beam so in, uh, here also the uh, one of landing beam again we will see the next problem thank you